Yo, what's going on guys? So I got a pretty legit session for you today. It's going to be a chest and back session. Now with this chest and back session, you're going to be super set in everything. So every single exercise is going to be super set and it's going to be pretty intense. So if you guys give this a go, I'm going to basically just run you through it right now. It's going to be pretty intense. So what you're starting off with is uh, basically one of like almost the king of exercises. So it's going to be a pull up and a dip. Now this is going to start you off really, really nice. It's going to start you off with a nice pump. So starting off with dips and pull-ups is pretty, that's pretty intense as is, and you're trying to keep the rest as minimal as possible, go for about eight sets on these. Now with it being so difficult and the rest being so low, for our next exercise, we're gonna take a little bit more time between each sets, and we're gonna be hitting the incline chest, or we're gonna be hit, hitting the incline bench with some uh, bent over rows. Now, this is gonna be intense just due to the fact that you're both hitting, uh, you're hitting two compounds, and you're going for as many reps as you can. With the incline bench and the bent over rows, I'm gonna go heavy and I'm just gonna go almost through, through the motions. This is gonna be a big mass builder. This isn't something that I really track on. The bent over rows is, but not the incline, uh, the other, the incline bench. I'm trying to move as much weight on this as possible while still getting in quality reps, don't get me wrong. But the main focus right here is to overload the muscle, you know, build up that density within the muscle. Now, with our next movement, it's basically you're going into another compound movement what I think is a compound movement for the chest and back. So you're gonna be doing a flat bench with a lat pull down. Now lat pull down, I consider that a compound movement for the back. You're basically getting entire back development through the entire range of motion, depending on how you contract the back. Here, I want you guys to take two, three, two to three minute rests and just go in, or if you're recovered before that, go and hit that set, get in the quality reps and make sure you, you know, you're squeezing on this. This is one exercise you definitely wanna squeeze. All right guys, so one thing you gotta make sure you're doing during this lift is basically getting in your water between sets. Especially, now, one thing that you can do if you have a hard time drinking water, just take little sips in between your sets. And I guarantee you, you're gonna feel a lot better throughout the workout and the pump is gonna be that much better. A dehydrated muscle when lifting, that's probably one of the worst things. You will not get a pump and you will not perform. You know, even if you're doing powerlifting, this is something you always wanna do. Keep the body hydrated. Is probably the biggest culprit to having this having a good workout. All right guys, so after that we are pretty cooked. Those are basically three compound exercises or movements that are being superset, that's, so that's a lot. So what we're gonna be hitting are isolation exercises now. I'm a big believer of compound and then isolation. So what you are uh, starting off with, basically you're gonna be hitting a pullover with single arm dumbbell ropes. So guys, considering the back is such a big muscle, this is where I like to throw in unilateral work. That just means, that's just meaning one arm at a time. So, especially since the back is so big. Now with this being the isolation part of the, the workout, you are definitely gonna to, to wanna to focus on contraction, stretching and contraction. Arnold was a big, he was uh, big on, the bigger the stretch, the bigger the squeeze. So make sure you're stretching and squeezing the, the muscle. That is another huge tip I can give you guys. All right guys, now for our next selection of exercise, we're basically gonna be hitting the, the exact opposite. So we're gonna be doing pullovers for uh, for back and then seated chest press. Now this is something that I really like to do. This is something I like to really, really isolate. And you know, just to get away from these uh, these two exercises explaining. One thing that's really nice about this session is you can always mix and match. So if you're not liking the barbell incline bench, for instance, you can go ahead and hit dumbbells or even hit a uh, machine. This is something that you can just interchange, you know, and you can even switch up the order. If you want to go, you know, incline bench with a bent over row first and then the dips and uh, pull ups last, that works as well. You know, it's all catered, you can cater this all to your needs basically, and that's what's nice. That's one thing that I love about bodybuilding and just training in general and powerlifting. You know, if you have a goal, you go for it and you pursue. Alright guys, so this brings us to our last exercise, which is going to be a fly with the seat row. Both of these, again, are absolutely just, they work. These exercises are really good go-to. And basically this session was absolutely rough. It was nice and it's fun though. You know, it's always nice to challenge yourself with supersets like this. And, you know, if you want to know if you have a solid training partner, put them through like this for just like a consecutive week. And uh, you'll see if your training partner <laughs> lasts. All right, still around the next week, but uh, it's pretty vicious. This session was legit. Hope you guys give it a shot, and let me know what you think about the video. I want to thank y'all for all your support. It means the world to me. You guys are the true MVPs. I want to thank y'all for everything. 
Hope you guys have a good day. Peace out, everybody.